Hey, so yo guys, so welcome back to the channel. So in this video, we're talking about Neo. Yes, Neo, everyone's favorite stock at the moment. So in the past um, few days, Neo just kind of shot up like thirty yeah. percent. It's crazy. It's yeah. Crazy. So yeah, so this was basically prompted by um, J.P. Morgan's article, which upped what well, not an article, but it upped its price target for um, Neo to forty dollars. And at that time, I think Neo was at twenty twenty something. So this yeah, is a hundred percent increase by the end of the year. Yeah. So they basically said Neo is going to double. So this caused a lot of people to buy in. And today, filming this, Neo is at twenty eight dollars and seven. Pence, which cents. Cents, <laughs> which is its all time high ever. So this is Neo is at its peak. So basically we're gonna this is a video to say is Neo a buy or have you missed it? So there's two of us and I think this is the first time we've had different well yeah, not the first time because we're different people, but yeah, yeah so we've got legitimate. different yeah. point of views. And I think I feel like this is where we can kind of take advantage of of the fact that there's two of us we might have two um two opinions two different opinions so we're gonna give you both opinions so keep watching and you can make the decision at the end do you think neo is a buy or wait for a better buying opportunity so he says neo is a buy mm -hmm. i say wait don't buy now but yeah so we'll just get into the video but yeah before that please give the video a thumbs up and please subscribe down below and help us reach a thousand subs by the end of the year but yeah so let's just get into the video so you can go first so the reason i do say it's a buy is because um let's just remember what happened with tesla um back in was it august july august tesla was sitting around 800 dollars a share and people are like it went to 900 it went to a thousand and people are like tesla's in four figures now this is a bit expensive for tesla and tesla went up to 1200 and even though it did take some dips along the way i think it went back down to a thousand it went up down up down a thousand thousand six hundred and a thousand seven hundred the most on tesla's at two thousand two thousand two hundred so i feel like um for me as a long-term investor um i feel like it's just a thing where you'd rather get in that uh decent price rather than wait for these mm. big dips that people hope for and then mm. the stock runs up because that's what happened with tesla people waiting for a better position yeah you but know. it's tesla like tesla's like a once let's just tesla is not neo is not tesla basically that's what i'm trying yeah, to say and um, with the stock market um the way i see it um, neo is at its all-time peak so i feel like there's a dip to come like how how far the dip yeah. is gonna be i'm not too sure yeah. but i feel like with the stock market anything that runs up this much in a short period of time it will eventually co um, come down like you've got a lot of traders out there who will buy it for the short growth then once it's reached that maybe you might even get up to 30 dollars and people start selling off and taking profit and you might even be able to get in ah you can dip up to up down to 25 dollars so would you rather get neo at 25 dollar a lower cost base or get it at 28 and it's a thing where you can even buy it now but i still wouldn't say put all your money into it or put a lot into it like if i had a thousand pound i buy i put 300 pounds or 300 dollars now keep the 700 aside for neo and wait for dips because i feel like there's dip a dip will come it won't just keep going up even when like tesla oh, tesla is such a weird example because yeah, no yeah. stocks done what tesla's done in the past year like also stocks have done it but i don't feel like this is the case for neo because it's only up 30 percent this is not 100 percent, 200 percent. because imagine a stock going up by 400 percent in like a week to a month like you'd be scared to yeah. get into it but that's not the case for neo it's yeah, up by like kind percent 30 percent like with the stock market, anything that comes up will come down eventually. I feel like um, Neil's um, growth pattern is a bit weird, it's a bit different. So Neo, it ran up from like 15 to 20. Okay, first of all, it was like $10. Then I think it ran up to like 14 $15. 
or when it does that, when it has a run up, it just like consolidates. So it no, like but around, it comes down as well. Cause yeah, it came down to like Leo, 13, but it's like Leo, it just stays. Leo got to 22 at one point. And when it got to 22, I remember it dipped a bit to like 21. And that's when I bought my first share of Neo. Then after I bought it, like the next day, it went back down to 17. And I was a negative for months like for like a month so i went to 17 went to 18 then went to 16 again so i was so i kept adding to my thing the reason i have so many shares of neo is because i kept adding to it to lower my cost base so i bought some at 19 then i bought at 17 then even dipped to 16 so i've got shares my first share of neo was at 21 the last share that i bought from neo was at 16 but okay, would you rather get into Neo at 28 then maybe next week it dips at 20 so would you rather get into Neo at 28 or at 20 which one's gonna give you more money back that's where I'm coming from but um okay. um is this oh, what we talked about is is that fear of missing out wanting to jump on the shoe but then no this is also fear of missing out as well because if you not... think about it you're scared. Scared of no, mine's not. No, what's the fear of missing out? No, but then okay. let me give an example. Okay, there was someone who was just waiting for. They didn't want to miss out on the dip. That's also a fear of missing out. Okay, so they were waiting for Neil. Okay. They were waiting for Neil to dip, dip, dip. Then all of a sudden, Neil went from twenty to twenty-five, and they're like, "Oh damn, I missed out on the. I missed out now because now it's jumped. I can't get now at seventeen. It's not going to go. It's unlikely unless something happens like." It's very okay, so I thought like there's a middle, so there's there a is, middle yeah. ground. So if you've done your research, you believe in Neo, put us. Would you agree? Put a small amount of money, yeah, of course, into yeah. Um, Neo, buy it down at the twenty eight cost base, then wait for dips, or yeah, potential okay. dip. And even if it doesn't dip, which is also possible, and it goes to thirty, and it doesn't come below twenty eight, you can still at least you've got shares at that lower cost base at 28 then you just keep adding to it so i feel like that's like a compromise so even though we're going kind of back and forth i feel like um we're not always going to agree on the same but even the same stock or the same outlook the same prediction like you have the same long-term goal but yeah. we have the same long-term goal yeah. so we're just kind of the fact there's two of us because i don't feel like there's any Oh, I haven't seen any other YouTuber or investment pages where there's two people speaking. I thought the fact there's two of us, we can give you two point of views, and I thought that's what this video is. So if you like videos like this, comment down below and just let us know, and we'll bring you more videos like this. But yeah, so just to conclude the video, so Neo, I'm still gonna add to Neo. Um, I've already got shares in Neo, so I, I'll probably not add now, but I'm going to wait to see if it dips or just see how the market pays off and um, pays because right now Neo is at its peak and I usually don't like getting into stock when it's at its peak and it's so volatile and day by day it's just kind of going up because with me, I always see with the stock market, sometimes, sometimes it, not always, but what I see what goes up will always come down but you never know neo could go up to 35 then it might dip but maybe dip to 30 so i could have missed out by not by not buying it now at 28 so that's another possibility but that's just thing with the stock market you can't predict it so yeah so do you want to give your conclusion yeah, um and just you know um you know neo like it did dip today from like 29 to 28 no, but um, we're just kind of going off on yeah, exactly, but it's, it's still it's, it's still a dip, a, so it's, not a dip, it's, it's just very up subjective. And down. <laughs> you can't really predict the market like what if it, yeah. it could go further, but how much we don't know. So but the thing is if you do like keep waiting for it to like go down, go down, go down, yeah, and it goes that's up. Well, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, that's the thing as well. But yeah, so just do yeah, your own research. Yeah, research if, you, yeah. if you're happy with the company, we just, feel like it's worth investing and if you want another video where we um, give you our analysis on Neo, like a more in depth um, analysis on the actual Neo company, then just let us know down below and we'll do that. But we feel like it's a company worth investing. Even if you bought it now at this cost, um, the next, this time next year, the next six months, we, it, it will go up. Like Neo, there's a lot of things going for Neo and a lot, a lot of things to come. So this is basically a Chinese Tesla and the chat like he said the chinese market is a very big market a very big population and neo is gonna 
it's gonna be a big company but yeah i thought this was meant to be a short video but it's not that short but yeah we're just gonna end the video yeah, yeah so thank you guys for watching the video i hope you liked this video it, it was a kind of a different format to what we usually do but yeah just just let us know if you kind of liked what we did today but yeah that's the end of the video and thank you for watching oh don't forget to subscribe to the channel and don't forget to give your thumbs up and yeah thank you um just a quick disclaimer so we're not financial advisors we're just two young people getting into the investment space when to help other people looking to get into investment space so we just hope you can kind of learn from us but don't buy a stock because we've bought the stock but yeah we just hope we can help you navigate your way in the stock market but yeah just a quick disclaimer